Christmas spirit lives in us throughout the entire year. You know what? Since you have all that little Christmas spirit, why don't you come down here so we can handle it? Okay. All right. Let's get down to business. I actually love Thanksgiving. I think it's a great holiday. Ladies, 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 what are we doing here? You need to get to work. We're a family, all right? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Centennial, this is your favorite host, Kami G. And David G. And this week, I am very thankful for The Loft. David, what are you thankful for? I'm very thankful for you guys. Camera rolling. Action. Centennial United community, students, staff, everyone, I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. It has been a phenomenal semester at Centennial, and my appreciation goes to you for everything that you've done to make that happen. We have had so many accomplishments from athletes signing with colleges to record graduation rate from last year to our one act play getting third place in regions just across the board amazing things happening but folks we are not done yet i know we're going to enjoy some food and fun and family and rest on this upcoming week and i hope that you do that you deserve it but when we get back we have a couple of important and critical weeks students we have our final activities maybe final exams and your last graded assignments happening in your classes so please be sure that you've checked out the schedule that we've posted up on x formerly known as twitter and be ready for those last activities and then we head into the final week of the semester where if you want to avoid spending time with us on december 13th and 14th and 15th you can definitely do that but your grades have to be in order and you have to make sure that you don't need any remediation or recovery. And if that's the case, then you might be able to end your semester a little bit earlier than everyone else. So make sure that you continue to work hard. Use the opportunity of this break to rest up, relax, enjoy some food and family and fun. Do whatever it is that makes you happy and be ready for a great final couple weeks of the semester here in the Centen United community. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Your color of the week is red. My name is Mr. Bud, and I teach 10th grade Lit and Comp. I am Coach Harrell. I teach Special Ed, World History, and U.S. History, and I am the head wrestling coach. Hi, I'm Ms. Phillips. I teach law here at Centennial. I've been teaching here for two years. My name is Christina Branch, and I am the healthcare teacher here at Centennial. What's up, Centennial? It's Mr. Beekner. I am Frau McCarty, and I teach German. Some traits that I appreciate in a student are one, respecting the tardy policy. I think when we get everybody into the classroom on time, we can start on time and everybody does a great job. Hard work, um, dedication, you know, advocating for themselves, um, especially if they don't understand something, you know, asking for help that shows that they actually care about what they're doing. So students who are just kind of game for anything, you know, they're not afraid of seeming silly in class, just whatever I have um, prepared, they are willing to just participate and kind of give it their all because those are the students that are going to get the most out of their educational experience. And then of course, I also appreciate just all of the little personality quirks about all of my different students. It makes teaching worth it. The traits I like in students are enthusiasm, joy, curiosity, and trust. 
I'm very thankful for Maria Morris. She has been helping me out not only as a teacher assistant, but she's one of the leadership that I have um, here with my HOSA group. I'm also thankful for my students. Last year was my first year um, teaching in general, so I was most thankful for my juniors and my seniors last year who opened me with open arms. I want to shout out my wrestling team, the students on my wrestling team. You know, they come every day ready to work, uh, ready to practice, um, ready to get to it on the mat, and they're dedicated. They have no fear. Those kids are fearless, and I really admire them for what they do, so I'm very thankful for them. That trait I was mentioning, I think of um, Sophia, or Tess is her German name in my German 1 class. And although I don't like to choose favorites, some of my favorites are right here behind the camera. Sophie, Nina B, Victoria, and Nina C. Go Knights. What's your name and what club do you sponsor? Uh, my name is Mr. Johnson and I sponsor the Creative Writing Club. And what do you do in the club? Uh, so right now the club meets every Thursday in this classroom after school and basically we do everything from free writes to uh, like we have a couple of students who are working on books that we're like reading every couple of weeks um, and like giving feedback. Uh, we have people bringing new plays and screenplays and things like that. So um, we're basically uh, building like young writers to be able to like submit materials at Centennial. Okay, and how would I be able to join your club? Um, you can just drop in any Thursday after school in this classroom, G56. Um, you can email me at uh, johnsona29 at fultonschools.org and I can get you there. Okay, and can you tell me one more fun fact about your club? Ooh, um, one fun fact is that we uh, started the year with a uh, Taylor Swift blackout poetry party where we listened to her album 1989 on the release date uh, and we made blackout poetry which is hanging up in the room somewhere. Um, that, that was pretty awesome. We had like 15 or 20 people show up to that. All right, thank you. Your bird of the week is a bald eagle. Hey, Beak. Good to see you, man. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, hey, Barksdale, what's up? Thanksgiving's coming up, you know. Um, did you hear it might rain on Thanksgiving? Yeah. Talk about foul weather. <laughs> um, did you hear why the turkey was asked to join the band? He had his own drumsticks. Uh, you know what you should be expecting at the end of Thanksgiving? The letter G. <sighs> that's a good one. Yep, that's a good one. So, you know, I was sitting there eating my Thanksgiving meal, and the turkey was being really rude. I think it was jerky. Uh, right, right, yeah. Whew. What do you call a sad cranberry? A blueberry. Now that's a good one. Hey, you know what? Sat down at the, at the Thanksgiving table the other day. The turkey's phone was ringing. Wing, 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 wing. <laughs> All right, Barksdale, happy Thanksgiving, buddy. Happy Thanksgiving, Beak.
My name is Coach Kirkland. I am the head baseball coach and softball coach here at Centennial, and I also teach advanced algebra. Last year was a great year for us. A lot of memories made uh, in record set. Uh, we're going to do the same thing that we did last year in terms of weight training and off-season work. Um, you know, we're not going to steer away from that. Found the successes that it had last year with what we did, and we're just going to carry on what we do here. Last year was my first year as a head coach. I learned a lot about the things that go with being a head coach off the field and on the field. Definitely deadlines and, and other uh, things that come with the job that I'm more prepared for this year um, as a coach. And then as a, as a team, you know, room to get better. And uh, I'm looking forward to taking all those challenges. We've been uh, lifting in the mornings uh, with the returning players, 6 a.m. in the mornings uh, twice a week. Uh, we, we're getting really we're getting really stronger. Uh, we had uh, successes with our maxes this week after a seven week period of lifting. Uh, so we've been doing that, getting stronger. Uh, we started four on ones uh, back in October where we can have four guys at a time when we use baseball equipment. Guys are starting to find their swing. The arms are getting stronger uh, and defensive plays getting more uh, solid. So uh, I'm really proud of what's, what's happening this, this fall and um, we got more, more to do. So yeah, just coming out to the games. I know that beginning of the year is really cold but bundle up and, and coming out just supporting us. We'll, we'll be playing 30 plus home games with uh, all our programs with varsity, JV, and ninth grade just coming to the games and, and being loud for us. We have a spirit night once a month at either a restaurant or a business in town. Um, there's uh, proceeds that come back to us as a program with that. Um, a, couple, name a couple like Wits Frozen Custard, Takari Tsunami, Brewsters, just to name a couple. Um, just, you know, so I'm so thankful that they're uh, allowing us to put our names out there with them um, and then that they give back is, is so awesome and uh, our, our guys have also put on a car wash this fall and, and, and wash some cars for people in the community. So we, we also uh, uh, give back our, with our players as well um, and I, I, I can't be uh, more thankful for the support that we've had from the people in the community and from our players. What we're going to be using as our motto this year is blue collar, okay, we, it's guys that work hard, um, they don't settle. Uh, every day they're, they're, they're looking to get better and as a coach uh, it's really easy to coach because of the fact that uh, they want it just as much as you do. So um, that's one thing I love about this team, about this community. Um, people love to uh, support their, their Centennial Knights. They, they want to win and uh, you, you want to be a part of a, a community and culture that, that, that wants the success that you have as well. So I, I appreciate both those things from that. Athletics here are, is definitely on the come up. Um, Coach Henson has uh, us on the right path uh, athletically here at Centennial. Um, and we have great coaches and great players along with that, you know, with uh, football making the playoffs second year in a row, softball making the playoffs for the first time in school history. Um, and, and so many other accomplishments that we've had from our sports programs. It's really on the come up and it's really awesome to be a part of. Um, it's really exciting time to be a Centennial Knight.
Good morning, Knights. Welcome to the Sin 10 Weather Report, where the table is now outside. This is your Sin 10 Weekly Weather Update brought to you by the one and only K. NK. This Saturday, you can expect a high of 66 and a low of 47, temperatures slightly milder than last week. This Sunday, you can expect a low of 42 and a high of 64, so I'll definitely be not going outside. So let's go to Rory with the weather for Friday. Hey, hey y'all. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's gonna be any more of me outside. I had a traumatic incident. The trucks were outside, and uh, I almost got ran over, specifically by the Coca-Cola truck. I thought we were friends, Tom. You honked at me. I, I guess not. Um, can't trust any truck drivers now. <clears throat> Uh, weather this week, uh, highs is 66 and lowest is 55. Don't go near the trucks. Thank you, Rory, for the weather for Friday. Wow, I feel like it's already starting to feel like Christmas. What about Thanksgiving? Isn't that technically part of the holiday season? Mm, nobody really cares about Thanksgiving. Well, actually, and my family... Um, okay, and that's it for this week's weather report. See you next week. Go, go Knights! Nights. Hey Centennial, Dr. Blackwell here. This is Ask Your Principal. These are all questions that Centennial students sent in. Favorite movie, maybe it's because it's the holiday season right now so it's on my mind, but Christmas Vacation. If you're not quoting lines from that movie often, then I don't know who you are. Favorite part of the day for me is morning time, especially on the weekends, coffee, newspaper, sitting around in pajamas, morning time definitely. If I did not have this job, then I think I would be one of two things, and these both sound kind of crazy, but I would be possibly a bus driver, because I am certified to do that, and I think it'd be fun, or I love cars, so I'd always had this dream of becoming a car salesman with the vision that maybe they would give me cars to drive home all the time to test out. What am I most thankful for? Definitely my daughter. She's nine, her name is Adrian. You might see her up around here sometimes at games. I am most thankful for her, not only because she's my kid, but she's adopted. That made a dream of being a parent come true and just love her to pieces. Pancakes or waffles. So here's the thing. Pancakes, I think especially if you're cooking them at home, that's a no-go because they, they get a little overdone and they get that crispiness on it, whereas a waffle comes out every time, perfect golden brown, you get the butter on it with the syrup and it gets all down in the little crevices, perfect bite from a waffle. Hey, thanks for the question, Centennial. You guys are awesome. Is it okay if I just like say man on the street and like just like at the door? They're filming with me. Man on the street. All right, Thanksgiving break is in two days, so we're gonna. Thanksgiving break is in one day, so we're gonna be asking people what their favorite Thanksgiving foods are. All right, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? My favorite Thanksgiving food is uh, I don't know if it's just me or anyone. I love biscuits and mashed potatoes. Oh, the mashed potatoes, which we didn't, I already ate those, but mashed potatoes. All right, we're here with Jordy G, so I'm going to ask it's, you a couple. It's actually Jordan G, man on the street. Uh, so what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, probably macaroni. Macaroni? Yeah. Turkey. What's I'm here with Mr. Manny. This what is isn't even plugged in, folks. It's Bluetooth. Uh, probably mashed potatoes. What's your plate look like, like your full Thanksgiving plate? You got collard greens on there, uh, some stuffing, some turkey. I don't even like ham for real, so no ham. Yeah, no ham. Definitely and, no ham. And 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 and, 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 and what? Uh, oh my bro, 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 what's the last okay. thing, bro? You know what I'm talking about. Mac and cheese? Oh, mac and cheese. Um, pesto, lamb chops. Pasta? What you got in that lunch? Uh, I had dumplings. You already ate them? Yeah. You lying to me? No. They're not filming, they're not filming. We went to a restaurant. It's just me and you. We went to a restaurant. It's just me you and you. Know, we went to a restaurant. What happened? No, bro, bro. Are you mad about the arm thing? Yeah. You're mad yeah. about it? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, bro. I, it won't happen again. Okay, okay. I got this game, though. I'm here with Freestyle Goat's brother. Can you give us a freestyle? Give me this right here, alright? Yeah. Tell him my son. He don't know how to have fun. Because he knows I'm the one. Uh, pull up with the one. Pull, oh, pull up with the one. 
Yo. Hey, yeah, this is my son. Hey. It's about to be Thanksgiving. I'm about to be giving a whole bunch of money. You know what I be giving. Oh. <sighs> Yo, isn't an octopus just a wet spider? Yo, have you ever wondered how different your life would be if one thing never happened? Yo, a shark doesn't know camels exist. Yeah. Did you? Technically, every mirror you buy is in used condition. Wellness Wednesday is a program that creates events for students and staff to focus on the well-being of our student bodies. So some of these events include our Tea Insider event where students during lunch can come in and get Tea Insider for themselves to kind of relax and unwind during the school day. We also have yoga classes um, every once in a while at school and uh, bubble days. So those are some of the events that we have. I'm about to figure out who the real Loft fans are by who's following the Loft Instagram. Who am I here with? Nina Bernier and Cindy Lynn. Are you following Sun 10 Loft on Instagram? Of course. Of course? Yes. No, fake Loft fan. Oh, fake, fake Loft fan. We're catching them in the wild. What's your name? Oh, Cindy. Cindy? Yeah. Are you a Loft fan? Yeah, I am. Do you follow Sun 10 Loft on Instagram? I think I, I probably do. Um, no. Loft is my favorite, guys. I follow Loft on Instagram. I love Loft. Do you like the Loft? What's the Loft? Oh. Are you gonna go follow okay. after this? I'm gonna follow it right now. to sit at this table. Georgia, Georgia, do you want some more dessert? Yeah, I think I have some more. Oh, where's the bread? That's so good. Uh, I don't really care about that. I like Fortnite. I'll see the new OG season. So who are y'all looking for? Hello, welcome back to Album Reviews. This week we're going to be looking at Joyce Manor and their sixth studio album, 40 Ounces to Fresno. Joyce Manor is an indie rock band, um, traditionally known for their more pop punk styling and their very much unique sound. I'm, I've never been a giant fan of the band. I feel like the singing is a bit too screechy and they rely a bit too much on the heavy guitar riffs. But I feel like for this album, those kind of work to its benefit. The album itself is very short and it seems like they had a lot of conflicting ideas. It feels like each song could be on an entirely different album. And to call it an album is actually incredibly generous. It's only 16 minutes long, despite having nine songs on it. Overall, I'd rate it about a seven out of 10. Um, my favorite song would be uh, Gotta Let It Go. My least favorite would be Never Be The Same Again. Friendsgiving, never had it, so I'm gonna go un overrated. Friendsgiving is under, overrated, friends suck. Friendsgiving is overrated because I've never had it before and it's just lame. Turkey's overrated, turkey sucks. Turkey, low key underrated. If you get a good, like, a wing, it's pretty solid. Overrated, turkey is so dry. Turkey is one of those things where it's either too dry or not cooked enough, but I 
smoked turkeys in my big green egg, so mine is underrated. Turkey is overrated because it's dry. Who doesn't like Black Friday? Underrated. Black Friday is overrated. It's a scam. They put everything at normal price, and then right under they write, actually, it used to be $4.99, but it's $3.99. But it was $3.99 the entire time. Black Friday is not real, and you're being scammed. Black Friday, underrated. You can get all the good deals everywhere. ShopTarget.com. Black Friday is overrated. Um, it is a scam. Um, Max said it's underrated. He's probably one of those guys that gets up or, you know, I'm going to get up at 3 a.m. and go down to Best Buy and camp out for a large screen TV for $4.99. That was $4.99 last week and the week before that. So uh, overrated. Somebody put me on with some Sprite Cranberry and it was delicious. I'm going to say it is flat. It's very good. It's what's it called when it's like when it's like properly rated, properly rated. LeBron drinks it, so I do too. Overrated. It literally tastes like normal Sprite with like some weird stuff. LeBron drinks it, so I do too. Is that good? Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is underrated because um, who doesn't like floats? Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is underrated. I think. Okay, boomer. I don't know how to rate it because I always, I always hear, I always hear about it, but I've never met anyone that's actually seen the Macy's Day Parade. Apparently, no one knows what that is, but it might be my childhood, like Thanksgiving. You just wake okay, up. Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> NFL football games on Thanksgiving generally the NFL is just generally overrated football on Thanksgiving is properly rated 100% properly rated <laughs> I'm out What's up Centennial and welcome back to Flying Facts with Delta Mike. On June 16, 1941, Reagan National Airport in Arlington, Virginia was open. Due to the airport being very close to central DC, it is very popular with politicians and business travelers. However, due to DC airspace being closed, planes have to make very sharp turns while taking off and coming in from the north, causing for quite an experience if you're not used to it. The airport's largest airline is American Airlines, with a lot of those flights being operated by small Embraer 175 and Bombardier CRJ 700 aircraft to destinations in the northeast. The original terminal at the airport is still open, just as an abandoned hallway. Terminal A houses airlines like Frontier, Southwest, and Air Canada, which is the only international airline that serves the airport. In 1997, Terminal B and C opened. Terminal B houses airlines such as Delta, Alaska, and United. And then Terminal C houses airlines like JetBlue, American, and American Eagle for some flights. In 2021, the final edition known as Terminal D was open, serving all American Eagle flights. And this has been this week's edition of Flying Facts with Delta Mike. As always, stay safe and see you in the sky. Hey Centennial family, it's great to be back in front of the Centennial students. After having three kids at Centennial, I'm happy to invite everyone over to Crave Cookies. Crave is the first store in Georgia for this cookie brand. We origined in Utah and we have six flavors a week, rotating every week. We have plenty of Centennial students working here that are happy to serve you a brand new Crave cookie fresh out of the oven. And if you want to come down for a fresh hot cookie, come down to 3719 Old Alabama, Suite 200D. If you know the area, we're between Stones and Marlowe's. And we're really excited with Thanksgiving right around the corner to offer up some great holiday treats for you and your family to enjoy after your Thanksgiving turkey meal. So remember, crave cookies. I'm Yaz. I'm Talon. I'm Oliver. You're watching CSPN.
Your nice football just ended their season last week. Thank you to all the coaches, the players, and the fans for coming out to watch them. Now to Oliver for flag football. Your Centennial Knights fly football team beat Dunwoody last Wednesday 13-7. They played this Wednesday against Johns Creek. Now the Yaz with basketball. Your Centennial Knights basketball team had a rough loss 85-65 against Cherokee. Tomorrow they're trying to bounce back against Mount Pisgah. Can you shoot a half-court shot? I'm here with Lamar Campbell and Cam Stone. No good. No good. Loss production is going for the shot here. Game time. Ah, oh, that's right. Looks at the camera, ready to take the shot. What is that? Oh my goodness. Shot is up and he is taking up. Where are you going? You didn't even make it. I missed basket. I'm, I made basket. <laughs> oh, that was so tough. <laughs> Quick look at the camera. Look at that position. I mean, equal feet, good hands. The shot. It's going. It's going. Bang! From way downtown. Our winner today is Lamar. I mean, I have no competition really, you know. It's just in my DNA. But yeah, thank you to Loss. Real. Enjoy your break and be thankful for everybody around you. And see you next next week. Go, Go Knights! Knights.